Hey guys, welcome! PG Mining 10 here, and I'm going to be showing you how to install the FTB mod pack, which is also known as Feed the Beast mod pack, as well as Optifine. Now, Optifine was not actually included in the mod pack because they could not actually get consent from the mod developer. But it is very easily added in, and it is 100% legal, so don't be worrying about that. So first off, let's go to feedthebeast.com. As you can see, it's just like this. And let's go ahead and let that load up. Now, hopefully we don't have any audio that comes in here, but I'll just shut it off. So let's go ahead and pause that. Alright, so as you can see, it says download jar or download exe. So this all depends on your operating system. So if you're on Windows, you're going to want to download the exe. So as you can see, I'm not actually on Windows, but I went ahead and downloaded it anyway to show you. So it's 367 kilobyte for Windows, which is a very small download. And so if you're on Linux or um, Mac or whatever you're on, just go ahead and download the jar because this is universal. It'll work on Windows. It'll work on all of that. So as you can see, now we have the ftblauncher.jar. So actually, let's go ahead and download Optifine. So let's go type in Optifine. Now this website does take a while to load, but it is minecraftforum.net. I'm sure you guys all have heard of it. It does take a while to load, so I'm sorry about that. But let's just go ahead and wait. It's not actually my internet. It's actually this website just does have a lot of stuff on it. Um, I'm not sure why it takes so long, but it just does. So let's go ahead and while that loads, let's go ahead and get into the FTB launcher. So you're going to want to actually create a new folder and just name it FTB or name it whatever you'd like. It doesn't really matter. This is just so, so that you don't actually um, cluster up your... Oh, we actually already have that folder. Never mind. So as you can see, we have this empty folder here. And what is this? I have no clue what that is. So let's go ahead and put that in there. All right. So this is just so that you don't cluster up your desktop. So now that we have this, let's go ahead and drag our FTB launcher into here. And let's go ahead and double click on the FTB launcher. And let's press open. So all of this should be about the same for Windows. All of this will definitely be the same. So let's go ahead and show off some of the cool stuff in the launcher. So as you can see, we have this Feed the Beast pack. And these are going to be mod packs. And you can actually edit your pack. Now that's how you install new mods and such. So this actually shows where all the mods are. So that's pretty cool. Now also you have options here, and you have RAM maximum and RAM minimum, so you're probably going to want to leave that the same. You might want to go ahead and bump that up a little bit. So if you want to do 2 gigs of RAM, just do 2048. So there's 2 gigs of RAM. So now let's just go ahead and go back to 1024, because that is default. And let's see, all this is just the news, FTB release, all that's kind of cool. And I believe the maps are going to be for like the, the sky block and all that stuff, but that's none of that's actually implemented yet. So let's go ahead and get to installing Optifine. So this is all done. Actually, let me go ahead and show you how you actually make your profile. So my Minecraft name, in case you guys didn't know, is actually ParkerG16. And you guys don't need to know my password. But we can actually go to Profile Name, and we can actually rename this to PG uh, Mining 10 since that is my YouTube username. So I think I spelled that correctly. So as you can see, that did work properly. And all this is just your debug window. You don't actually have to worry about that. So, actually, if you're watching this video after you've watched my other install video, you know that I actually installed Optifine incorrectly. So, the reason is because I wasn't actually 100% aware of how the mods folder worked, but now I am. I'm hoping that none of the um, strange things pop up here, because that has happened. Some fat guys have been, like, singing at me. I don't even know. So, hopefully nothing strange happens. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab this, and let, you're going to want to download this one. So good thing we didn't end up with some strange banana ad this time. So let's go ahead and download Optifine. Now you, this is going on 100% virus-free download, so you're not going to have to worry about viruses. So as you can see, we got this Optifine. Now it's not actually a zip. So as you can see, it has all the classes and stuff. This is just all your mods. And we can go ahead and exit out of this because you no longer need it. So what you're going to want to do is I do not believe this is actually necessary. But I do it just because um, it makes a lot more sense because that's how most mods are added in. So I just rename it um, to .zip. So this actually does not have to be done, I don't believe, but I do it just for um, safety measures. And I just add that at the end. So it just gets read as a zip file, even though it's not a zip file. So it doesn't have to be done, but I go ahead and do it anyway. So let's go ahead and type, or not type, but let's click Edit Mod Pack. And what we're going to do is click on Jar Mods. Actually, let's go ahead and... Nope. Let's just go ahead and add mod, and then we're going to go to our desktop, which is right here, and we are going to find the, let's see, Optifine. So Optifine is right here. So let's go ahead and open this. Uh-oh. How about we do it the other way? Yeah, this way sometimes isn't very cooperative, 
So let's just go ahead and do it like this. So let's go ahead and open folder and the INST mods or INST mods, INST mods. You're going to want to drag Optifine directly into here. And as you can see, it says .zip, even though it is not a zip. So let's go ahead and exit out of that. And so it's as easy as that. So our mod is now in the jar mod. So let's go ahead and let's see. Open our folder back up, and why is it not being read? All right, so there we go. It just had to do a little bit of an update. So if that doesn't update, go ahead and open that folder again, and it should update. So as you can see, now we have enabled mods. Now if we open this folder again, I can show you what it does when you disable the mod. So click Disabled, and as you can see, it renames it to .disabled. So if you wanted to enable it again, just go ahead and get rid of that and do it like that. So let's go ahead and um, use Zip. And as you can see, let's go ahead and close this, and we should be able to open it back up. And actually, that didn't work, but it's not supposed to work like that. So now, as you can see, it is re-enabled. So that is awesome. It's just You just want to make sure that Optifine 1 is on your enabled mods. So now you've installed mo er, um, Optifine, so congrats. So I'm just going to go ahead and show that off. You don't actually have to continue watching if you don't like, because the mod is actually already installed. I actually entered my profile incorrectly because I forgot my password. So let me go ahead and fix that really quick. Yeah, I um, have changed my password a lot of times for multiple different reasons. But anyways, so as you can see, we're downloading Minecraft. So this is directly from Minecraft, as you guys probably know. And then we're actually downloading the mod pack now. So this is actually about 17 megabyte, but the servers are kind of a little bit slow right now because I'm sure a ton of people are actually downloading. So that's no big deal, and that might actually be more than, let's see, how many is this? Yeah, I believe that's 17 megabyte. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not a, a computer guru, but I would like to think I am, even though I'm not. All right, so this is downloading, and FML is about to pop up right over here. Um, as you can see, FML is setting up your Minecraft environment. That's awesome. And once again, you don't actually have to watch this. This is just to pr um, prove to you guys that Optifine is installed, unlike in my other video, because I actually compressed it. So don't compress your jar mods, because um, apparently it messes things up, because the way it reads it doesn't actually unzip it when it implements it. So as you can see, we have Optifine, Optifine 1.4.2 HD um, UB5. So that is actually what we have installed. And as you can see, it's up here as well. So let's go ahead and do single player. And let's just go ahead and get rid of all this and Optifine test. All right, so let's go ahead and generate this world. Oh, and also, I'd actually like to show you guys how you can actually change the picture of your jar file. In case you guys don't actually like this jar, we can actually, let's go ahead and delete this because that was just a shortcut. Let's go ahead and open this up. Let's go to Get Info. And we're going to take this JPEG. I actually made this custom myself. I used their little thing, and I just put my player in there. Um, I actually used Maya to make him 3D and cross his arms. I think that's pretty cool. So just go ahead and drag your JPEG, and you can drag it directly onto that. So that is sweet. So let's go ahead and go and make an alias, make alias. And let's just go ahead and call this FTB Launcher. And there we go. So now we have our alias, and now we can just drag it out here. And as you can see, we have FTB Launcher. And that is awesome. Let's go ahead and drag that in there. So we can actually open the FTB mod with this, which looks pretty dang cool if you ask me. So I'll actually um, probably include this image in there if you'd like it. Um, I'm sure most of you probably don't, but for those of you that do, there it is. So as you can see, let's go ahead and press, um, let's see, what is it? Oh, we can't actually do it in that kind of screen mode for some reason. But now we can press F3, and as you can see, Optifine is working right here. And we are getting... 52 fluctuating FPS, we're down to 33, but as you can see, our video settings are on um, fancy and all that, so I really record on tiny, in case you guys are wondering what I record with. Um, performance, let's go to um, max FPS and open GL on, and I normally turn off those, but we're actually getting 100 or so FPS, so this is really good. So, yeah, guys, this has been PG Mining 10, and I've showed you guys how to install the FTB mod pack, also known as Feed the Beast. And I've also showed you how to install Optifine. So if you'd also like to go ahead and see my impressions video of the Feed the Beast mod pack, you can actually go to my YouTube page, and you can actually find that video. So go ahead and check that out. I'll include the link in the description below. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please do hit the subscribe button. It does mean a lot to me. I believe we've actually reached about 30 subscribers, which I know doesn't sound like much, but it really does mean a lot. So um, I'd also like if you guys would actually hit the like button if this did help you. And also, I'd like to tell you guys to have a good day or night. So I will see you next time. Peace.